Welcome to Casino Lunch number uh, 39. Um, today, we're going to just, you know, look at some of the updates uh, in the Cassandra community uh, and talk about, you know, how it impacts us uh, practitioners. Um, most of the time, I think we have a monthly update. Uh, we just didn't get to it uh, last time. Um, I'm, your co I'm your organizer, looking for a co-organizer. Uh, co-organizers can help uh, basically by getting members or speakers or sponsors. Um, and then it's a great place uh, to, you know, get exposure uh, and uh, build your, build your uh, you, know, you know, personal brand. Um, we're part of Data Community DC, which is a diverse group of people uh, made up of several groups, uh, including ours. We cover all things related to the Cassandra protocol, basically. So different variants of Cassandra are out there today. Uh, we don't see anybody new, so we can skip this. Group rules, uh, just if you have a question, just ask it politely. Uh, our company, Anant, is a sponsor of Cassandra DC, and we specialize on platforms built around Cassandra with Spark and Kafka and everything that goes around it, like Kubernetes, Terraform, Ansible. DataSax is a partner and a sponsor. So is a George Washington University, uh, also some local sponsors in Chicago and DC. Uh, I also wanna thank uh, the organizational sponsors that support the nonprofit foundation, Data Community DC. Let's see, do we have any upcoming uh, topics uh, next week for this group or any other events? In fact, um, OB or ARPIN, uh, I thought one of you were queuing up something for the coming weeks, right? Anything fresh? Yeah, um, <clears throat> next week's Cassandra lunch, we're gonna be taking a look at Skilla's migrator um, and then ideally having some demos um, to show you how you can build it, run it. Um, but yeah, it's still a work in progress, but that will be the topic for next week's Cassandra lunch. Okay, great, awesome. Um, yep, a couple of things in the backlog that we eventually will get to is, you know, looking at Cassandra on and how to use it with these following tools. It may not always be clear um, because Airflow is a data schedule, you know, data processing a scheduling system. Kubernetes is a orchestration platform and Jenkins is a CI CD platform. How does that really merge with the concept of Cassandra? Our videos are online. You can also go to Cassandra.link to find a lot of things, but videos, blog posts, tutorials, uh, it's all hand curated and uh, organized by tags, as well as searchable by search index. Okay. Um, anyway, as I mentioned, you know, today we're just going to look at the uh, updates uh, in the Cassandra community uh, since the last time we, we looked at it. A um, few, few key uh, pieces of information. There's always generally a, um, uh, a release. So uh, if you see that 3024, 311.10, and 40 beta 4 is out, um, and the uh, important thing to note is that this is still beta, but 3, 311 and 3 are, are some of the most popular core um, software versions of Cassandra. A lot of people use it. That's why it still has to be maintained. Um, let's see. The uh, I'm not going to get into, you know, um, uh, certain aspects of you know the changes related to 4.0 because i think um it's uh actually no never mind this is um this does apply to all software i think it was backported uh basically related to uh, internode encryption and so that has been resolved um there's some work being done in terms of you know migrating users um uh, or, or like the 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 systems um from one version to another, um, you know they're looking for ways to 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 do that better. Uh, what the challenge is going to be for the casino community is how to get people onto 4.0, because or even to 3.11. Because if um, if you don't have um, 3.11, going to 4.0 will be very hard, right? So you have to get to 3.11. Um, and then once 4.0 is released, normally in the open source community, you stop supporting the version behind. Basically, you should be supporting two um, versions in what's called long-term support, right? Um, 
this Jira board. Um, if you're curious as to you know how you can uh, help out, uh, you can always look at the Jira board. You have to sign up for free uh, to the Apache uh, Foundation's uh, Jira. And there are, by the way, thousands upon thousands of tickets. But at the very least, um, you can see kind of like, what are the ones that are in progress? What are the ones that are in the backlog? There are a lot of them in review or awaiting review. But this is the scope that the team is trying to knock out uh, to get 4.0 released. Uh, if you're new to uh, open source software, um, generally people put a bug up there. Anybody can put a bug up there or a feature request. Um, and then anybody can commit a pull request, right? Um, but somebody has to review it. And so all of these essentially um, are related to either documentation fixes, website fixes, or even particularly features inside the code. Uh, and this is open source software. So you can, you can see how Cassandra is being built. A couple of community notes, um, you know, and if you're interested, guys, there's something called Google Summer of Code, um, where people come and they open, uh, sorry, Google has these interns that come and add their time, they give their time to open source projects, and they're matched. Um, and it, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a Google intern, like anybody can take part in the Google Summer of Code, you just have to become part of the group. Um, let's see. Um, Kubernetes SIG stuff, um, this wasn't included here, but there, there is an update to CAS operator, which is at 1.6.0. And there's also a, um, an update to Kate Sandra, which uses 1.6.0 um, for Kubernetes. And that's called, that's Kate Sandra, that's 1.0. Um, Kate Sandra, I think that's what I wanted. I wanted to do a presentation on Kate Sandra today. I just didn't get time to bring up my machine um, with all the tools. Uh, I might just do it in, um, you know, like a like a cloud environment. But uh, Kate Sandra essentially is uh, making it easy, super easy, to get started with uh, Cassandra on Kubernetes, right? And if you look at the quick start, it's like you just need Kubernetes somewhere, and you need Helm. And you, you run essentially two or three commands. This is for like if you're running it locally. And you follow this. I mean, it's really like five or six commands. Um, and then you have a cluster up and running with, I think, Stargate on the, on the, U, on the API layer, uh, Medusa for backup, and Reaper for repair. Prometheus for monitoring and Grafana for looking at that information. So really uh, amazing um, what this software can do. Take a look at that. Okay. A um, couple of uh, uh, articles out there um, in you know, relationship to this general industry. Um, check these out, I would say. These don't necessarily talk about Cassandra, but they refer to Cassandra in conjunction with potentially other technologies. It's always good to know what else is happening out there. Um, and you know, this this is Sam at, at DataStax. Let me see who else I recognize. I don't recognize anybody else. Um, let's see. Um, interesting articles. Uh, hey, I wrote that article. Uh, you know, Apache Cassandra, the interplanetary database. Uh, if, uh, if you want, take a look at that. It's just a kind of a pie in the sky idea of how Cassandra could run uh, across the solar system. Um, and we also have, um, uh, you know, a, a post on how to use flame graphs in, in uh, how to get flame graphs, which are basically how the internal garbage collection is happening inside Cassandra, inside Kubernetes. So I have not uh, read this yet, but uh, it seems cool. Um, why is this important? Well, what we want to know is, let me see if it has a, um, it doesn't have the, the UI. Uh, I, I wanted to show you what a flame graph looks like. 
so you understand why it's useful. Uh, I don't think he has a link here. Um, here, let me see. He didn't even link it. Uh, so, plain graph, Cassandra. This is the article I'm looking at. Right, so you can basically see, um, you know, where where things are happening, how much, how long it's taking, what is the uh, number of objects in particular, ask a particular uh, component of Cassandra, um, right? So in this case, for example, what you're getting is, um, I think this is a garbage collection event, and then it comes back and um, continues to take time because this is taking time. I think this is time here. So cool tech, very advanced topic um, in terms of, in, you know, in, in Cassandra world, understanding the garbage collector is like the ultimate core expertise because you can tune everything else, but eventually you have to, you have to tune the garbage collection in, and um, until you visualize it, you don't necessarily know what's happening. Um, how to install Cassandra on Ubuntu? I mean, there are a billion articles about it, about how to install Cassandra on Ubuntu. Uh, I generally take a Uh, you can generally follow the rest of the instructions here for any cluster, right? So it's always good to take a look at what's out there. I have a question. My voice is not good. Okay, am I frozen? Hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah, can you yeah hear you're me? back now. Oh, I know what happened. I had switched over to my backup internet. I'm going to go back to my regular wired internet. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. It's cutting Great. off a little bit, but I can hear you again. All right, I need one more data point. Uh, Nikita, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, so what I was saying is that this, this is an interesting article to read, even if you know how to install uh, you know, Cassandra um, on other operating systems. It's not just every, every time there's a tutorial out there, it's good to take a look to see if there's anything new. Um, this article shows you how to bring up a cluster and configure it, right? It's worth uh, knowing how to do, even though nowadays everything is uh, orchestrated for us. And uh, that's it. Those are the main updates for Cassandra and the Cassandra community. Um, if uh, anybody has any questions, uh, we can chat about it. Otherwise, we can um, call it a day. I'm not sharing anything um, right now. Okay. Cool. All right, folks, you guys can have 40 minutes of your time back. See you guys next week. And uh, we'll try to get the Kate Sander up and running for that. All right. Take care. Thank well, you. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon.